Well, my name is Chef Phil Jones, and we are here today at Oakland Avenue Urban Farm for the Oakland Avenue Urban Farmers Market. Every Saturday here during the season from June basically till the end of September with a lo lot of wonderful vendors and today we're going to be demonstrating a little something that you can come here and get your ingredients, your main ingredients and today the main ingredient is the green tomato. So we're going to be doing a little fried green tomato today but we're going to do it a little bit different. The first time we're trying this we're going to crust it with fonio. So there's going to be a fonio crusted Green, fried green tomatoes. And fonio is a West African grain. It has the highest concentration of nutrients of, of any of the grains. It's, it's nutritious as rice and then some. It's easy to grow, but it's one of those grains that belong to us that have been ignored. We're trying to bring it to the forefront. So we get our, our fonio from a gentleman named Pierre Chow. Pierre is a chef in New York. He's from Senegal. He has several restaurants there. And he has a line of fonio called Ulele Fonio. So we're using that today. So what, what is Fonio? Well, this is Fonio. Fonio is the grain I was referring to, and it kind of looks like a little bit like couscous, but it's not exactly couscous, it's parboiled, and it takes about five minutes to cook, which is really nice. So you've got a great flavor, and it's a really easy dish to cook and make it make your own. Um, basically, it's two to one water to Fonio, bring your water to a boil, put your Fonio in it, cover it completely, best with a little plastic wrap to keep all that steam in there and five minutes later you've got some nice fluffy fonio that you can flavor any way you want a little salt and pepper to keep it simple you can add garlic spices today we kept it real, relatively simple salt pepper a little garlic and our, our main component here is berberet so berberet is also African origin from the same part of western part of Africa and it has a, a, a plethora of spices and seasonings and it's like everybody's mother's recipe. They, everyone does it a little bit different. This mix that we have today is pretty basic, but it's full of flavors. You got ginger, garlic, um, peri peri peppers, paprika. Sometimes you'll even find like ground, ground shrimp or crayfish in there. But ours is a little bit more simple than that. So one thing that you gotta do that we gotta make sure that we have going for us is a nice hot pan for us. We're gonna, we've got our fire going. We're gonna get up to nice medium high heat and we're gonna start our process. So this is a standard breading procedure. It's gonna go seasoned flour, egg wash, and then our fonio crust. So your standard procedure is to take your tomato, put it into your flour, get it nice and covered, shake off the excess, and I'd like to let mine sit for a minute. Because what's gonna happen is this is gonna draw off some of this excess liquid. You're gonna see that it actually changes a little bit, and, and it allows it just to adhere a little bit better. So technique says, dry hand stays dry, wet hand stays wet. We don't cross over. So this is my dry hand, putting it into my wet container. I'm gonna take my wet hand now, and get rid of the bee with my dry hand. I'm gonna go into my fonio with my wet hand too. And into the wet, because this is the way you keep your hands relatively clean. It's not an easy process, but this helps out a little bit for you. And that flour is gonna allow this egg to have something to grab a hold of onto. And it goes into our wet side. And we're gonna just take a little bit of a tester to see if we've got some frying going. And we certainly do. Today we're using a little olive oil. It's just a regular olive oil, it's not extra virgin olive oil. Because extra virgin olive oil is the first cold pressing of the olives. And once you add some heat to it, it's no longer extra virgin olive oil and you've wasted your money. One of the things that's gonna happen at the end, we're gonna give it a little bit more of a season. If you can hand me that salt when you get a moment. This is so good. 
Okay, so once again, my name is Chef Phil Jones and we're here at the Oakland Avenue Urban Farm for our weekly farmer's market. And today we're demoing Fonio Crusted Fried Green Tomatoes. Once again, Fonio is a West African grain with a high nutrition value, warm nutty flavors, cooks in five minutes. You can add whatever flavors you want to it. Today we kept it pretty simple, salt, pepper, garlic, little beurre beret. On top of our, we started out with some seasoned flour, a little salt, pepper, garlic in there, our standard egg wash, then our Fonio batter, some nice hot olive oil. Once again, you're gonna make sure that you are not using extra virgin olive oil in this case, because it's too expensive. Just use regular olive oil for this kind of frying. And you're gonna get a nice golden crust on it. It's gonna have a nice warm, nutty flavor to it. And you're gonna enjoy. You're also gonna support our food, the food of our ancestors before the diaspora, because we did feed ourselves. We were self-sufficient, we were enslaved and brought over here, and our food, our culture, and our ingredients have been ignored, and it's now it's time for us to take them back and actually make the money from it, get the nutritional value that is inherent to this food, and also reestablish ourselves and our culture and our friends and family. And so my name is Chef Phil Jones from Pharmacy Food. You can check us out on the web, www.farmacyfood.com. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Chef Phil Jones. And you can also find Pharmacy Food or any of those places. Also find us at the Mary Grove Conservancy at 8425 West McNichols Road. Mary Grove is a wonderful place and we are there six days out of the week you can come pick up your meal prep we also cater and we also do community food so come check us out and enjoy some great food so thank you